April the 12th, 1861. Confederate mortars opened fire on Fort Sumter in Charleston Harbor, signaling the start of America's Civil War. President Abraham Lincoln issues a call for volunteers for 90-day enlistments, confident that the rebellion can be put down in short order. Jefferson Davis, newly elected president of the Confederate States, is equally optimistic. Davis boldly moves his government to Richmond, Virginia, just 100 miles from Washington, D.C. Can you win the swift victory both sides are predicting? Or will this war test if a nation conceived in liberty can long endure? The Yankee three-inch rifle was a dead shot at any distance under a mile. They could hit the end of a flour barrel more often than miss, unless the gunner got rattled. Why do they call them civil wars, when they always are so extraordinarily uncivil? Quit thinking about what Bobby Lee's going to do to us, and start thinking about what we're going to do to him. Our best officers estimate one man armed with the Spencer carbine is equivalent to three with any other arm. The turrets and other parts of the ship were heavily struck, but the shots did not penetrate. The tower was intact, and it continued to revolve. A look of confidence passed over the men's faces, and we believed the Merrimack would not repeat the work she had accomplished the day before. Jeb Stewart is my ideal of a cavalry leader, prompt, vigilant, and fearless. This conflict is one thing I've been waiting for. I'm well and strong and young, young enough to go to the front. If I can't be a soldier, I'll help soldiers. I have the pleasure of sending you this first dispatch, ever telegraphed from an aerial station. The North can make a steam engine, locomotive or railway car. Hardly a yard of cloth or a pair of shoes can you make. You are rushing into war with one of the most powerful, ingeniously mechanical, and determined people on earth, right at your doors. This year's brought about many changes that at the beginning would have been thought impossible. War is hell. I've always regretted that the last assault at Cold Harbor was ever made. The world has been convulsed by war. Many great and powerful civilizations have fallen, but you have survived and emerged victorious. The world will long remember your glorious triumph. 